Ladies and gentlemen, our semi-main event. Brian Amateur to Barry Markle Sports, Simmons Homes, Melbourne Pavilion. The women are taking professional and amateur boxing by storm. 2012 sees women included in the London Olympics for the first time in more than 100 years. Your supervisor for this bout, representing the World Boxing Council, Mr. Frank Quill. Ladies and gentlemen, these ladies have met three common opponents. This bout for the WBC International Bantamweight title fight and for the WBC World Bantamweight title eliminator. Ten rounds of boxing. Your timekeeper at the bell is Chris Anderson Jr. Ringside physicians Dr. Harris, Dr. Lewis. Your judges at ringside, Frank Hadley, Andrew Campbell, Samantha Bulner. Your supervisor, I mentioned, Frank Quill. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Would you welcome first, on my right, right, wearing red, from Gomel, Belarus. Then she lived in Germany, now fighting out of Wollongong, New South Wales. Tonight in the corner, Colin Fogliani and Stuart O'Connell. She's the current WBU and WBF World Super Bantamweight Women's Champion. Previously held the Global Boxing Union World Super Flyweight Championship and the WIBF World Super Flyweight Crown. Manager, Ms. Anja Gantner at ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, at 53.52 kilograms, with a famous sporting German name. 27 fights, 25 wins, 2 losses, 10 by knockout. Would you welcome to Melbourne, Australia, the Tigress, Alicia Graham. And across the ring in the blue corner, Steve Stenborg and world champion Barry Michael. Born West Melbourne, just around the corner from here, lives Reservoir. Ladies and gentlemen at the North Melbourne Academy are proud to unveil the former IBF women's Bantamweight champion in the world. She's held three other major titles, 53.10 kilograms. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing white with a touch of blue and black and red, would you welcome Victoria's Susie Q. Ramadan. Malcolm Mulder to handle this big bout. Here we go, Malcolm, proudly wearing the WBC colours. Let's get it on tonight. Welcome to Center Ring, ladies. I want a good, clean fight from both you ladies. Shake hands now, come on, fight here at the mill. Good luck to both you fighters. No lack of intensity, no lack of intention in our semi-main event of the evening. Ten two-minute rounds in the bantamweight division. 53 and a half kilos, 118 pounds, or eight stone six. Elite level athletes about to do their thing. Out of the red corner, originally from Belarus. Then Germany, now New South Wales, Australia. Zalisha Graf in the white and the red. And Susie Q. Ramadan. Melbourne born and bred in the white and the blue. Susie's a very fast fighter on her feet, moves well around the ring. I think what she's got to look at tonight is not, not throw out the ones. Get out the punches in combinations because Graf's got a great eye. She sees it, she slips and she'll counter before you know it. That's good work from Susie Q. Neither the ladies stop before. However, Ramadan suffered a lone loss in 22 fights last starter. Split and controversial 10 round points decision over Yasmin Rivas in Mexico for that coveted IBF World Bantamweight title. Two right-handers, and the girls not afraid to throw them early. Nice, 
the second minute of the opening round. A body shot there by Graf. Yeah, nice hook to the body by the Belarusian. Send it downstairs. You've got to come back up top off it, but... Has that height advantage? Does Alicia Graf? She does, but it's Ramdam getting through with the jabs at the moment. Well, they'll, I'll put the mocker on us. Trying to change levels there, Alicia Graf. A slip there from Susie. Box. Two complete professionals. High pressure fight and have handled themselves with a great deal of class and dignity leading into tonight's event. nice and fast and that was the right hook to the body from Bell, uh, from uh, Graf. Here you'll see uh, Susie Q have a bit of a slip. Round number two coming your way. We are scheduled for ten. Abbreviated rounds in the female division, just the two minutes on the clock, not the three. Good footwork there from Graf. Both girls very light on their feet, very quick on their feet as well. Just got to watch the head coming in there a little bit. Oh! say break, I mean break, and you don't box till I say so. Is that clear? Okay. Box. Tempers tested early. The raging bull, Malcolm Bulma. Stepping between and laying down the law to the ladies. Oh, once again, good footwork. I like the footwork of Graf. Oh, oh, good work. That was beautiful from Ramadan, who was just a little out of range as she came in. Missed with the first two, but she hadn't loaded up, Chris, so she could keep the fluency of her hands. She found the target zone with the third punch of the combination. Yeah, you're exactly right. Once you start to, to load them up, the feet plant. Susie did great work working in. Didn't find her, but as you said, didn't load it up, so she found her on the third. Good upper body movement from both girls and some big shots being fired away. Graffin against the rope, spins out nicely. Tries to restart, tries to reset. Oh, yeah. Bell sounds and Susie thought it was on still. Two down. Gets a little spiteful at times. Ramadan reaction reacts aggressively. Not going to take a backward step at all. Good combination from both girls. Good dig to the body from Ramadan. Mixing it up, going up, coming down. Seconds out, round three. It's about combination punches, whether it's male or female, it's about variation. And both girls 
Thus far, have showed good combination, good variation in what they've been achieving in the opening four minutes. Now they're just wailing away on one another. Graf's got a really good double jab. She needs to use that a little bit more and keep the fast feet Susie Ramadam off her. Oh, the left hook from Graf and the counter from Ramadam. Big shot from both girls. Ramadam to the body, doubling up right lead, left second shot. Yeah, good left rip from Susie Q. They just do not stop the elite level women. And that's what we've got here. Good head movement from Susie Q, but good footwork from Graf, and there's that double jab. Was, it was good from Susie, and, and good defensive strategy there from Alicia. And Susie knew what she had done wrong. Susie almost acknowledged it halfway through the movement, saying to herself, no, no, no. You know what's right, you know what's wrong, and you know how to get there. That's right. Seconds remaining, round number three. High pace and physically draining, so far anyway. And a ton of skill. Oh, good left hook from uh, Graf. She works back in, round down, down a little bit too low, can't do much from there. Alicia thus far has shown us why she's a four-time world champion. Why she may well be ready to tackle it again. WBC on this. from both girls. Started with Graf, finished with Susie Q. From the world champ, Barry Michael in the corner along with Steve Stenborg and Julie Ramadan, the sister of Susie. Got a couple of hats on tonight, Barry, part of the promotion team. Some corner work. And head of entertainment here in the pavilion. The interesting part there in uh, in the red corner with um, Alicia Graff, she was up with about 20 seconds gone. She was up on her feet for the rest of the round, bouncing around the rest of the break. Sorry. Sam Solomon in the auditorium tonight. Of course, Sam and Garth. Congratulations to both fighters, both camps for their performances last weekend. Sam winning the match. Garth and Father Barry putting on more reports. A wonderful promotion. Homebush in Sydney and stepping up to the plate. One of the best in the world in the King. Speaking of one of the best in the world, hoping to become is Stevie Wills in South Africa right now for his IBO Light Welterweight World title event. Oh, challenging Kezar Mabuza. We wish Stevie all the very best. You're wrestling now, not boxing. Susie, you're wrestling now, not boxing. Okay, keep it clean. Like box. Susie taking the biggest shots of the fight there before that little wrestle to the ground, and oh, I Rabbit. think she's in trouble. She was tagged there with a strong and straight right hand. And again from Graf. Ramadan on the back foot. She's got to keep those hands nice and tight, Susie Q. Got to keep them tight and has got to keep that left up because she's taken too many straight right hands this round alone. Both girls having success when they start down. 
straight to the body and coming back up with the hook. Both girls landing it at will. You've got to keep those hands up. Take a look at the big right hand from Graf. There it is, one. There the girls get a little untidy. Round number five of ten in the Bantamweight division for the vacant WBC international Bantamweight title, effectively, and more importantly, a world title eliminator, Susie Ramadan in the white and the blue, Alicia Graff in the white and the red. Another quality domestic level fight. Look at this for a lineup. Zach Award Les Piper tonight. Brett W. Smith, Mick Shaw, Joel Brunker, Matty Powell, Mark Damori, Rob Calloway. Plenty happening in Aussie boxing, and the quality has risen dramatically, and we are seeing that in ring at the moment. And none more so than our next fight. What a beauty. Stick around for our main event, the Australian middleweight title, Johannes Tito Mwetjapunga, and Jared Fletcher. Left jab, trying to snap his way to an Australian title. And watch, watch the back of the head. Box. Getting a little frustrated here, Susie. Yeah, Graf's got to stay focused. She's dropping her hands there. She's probably had the best two rounds of the fight so far. Rounds four and five, and don't want to lose concentration now. Body shot there. Oh, Ramadan was a big one as Graf goes headhunting. The eyes of Susie starting to swell. You can see the confidence in the stance of Alicia Graf. The hands are down. She's not concerned in getting tagged at the moment. No, she's, uh, she knows she's the stronger fighter out there at the moment. Susie Q, the faster feet, and she's got to use that to her advantage. Oh, big shot from Susie Q and equally big from Graf. And a full house here at the Pavilion loved. The resurgence there late in the round from Susie Ramada. An undercard on main event boxing. They went to the judges' scorecards in December of 2010. Endurance isn't going to be an issue. We saw it that night. Just how capable this young lady was. And in fact... How much she rose to the challenge the longer the fight went. Amazing tenacity, incredible determination, and a desire second to none. Young Susie Ramadan. Debut back in December of 2007 down the road at Knox here. Nice left hook from Graf, uh, from Ramadan should I say, the straight shot from Graf. It was good footwork from Susie, and that's what she needs to do. Try and catch uh, Elisa Graf out, uh, out with her feet. Susie, a three-time Australian Female Boxer of the Year. Successive years, 2008, 9 and 10. Nice short right from Susie Q. Much better round from Susie Q, round number six. 
Oh, oh good oh, left hook. Yeah, on exit too. Changing levels nicely, Susie. Going to the body with a driving right and coming over the top of the left hook. She changes the combination this time around. That's what I said earlier. Both girls are very open to the, when you go downstairs with the straight, come upstairs with the hook, or even the right hand off that. Both girls very open to that shot. Inside now, the final 30 seconds of round number six. Scheduled for 10. Oh! Oh, oh big shot. Ramadan again walking into that right hand of Alicia Graff. And she is excelling with that right hand in particular late in the round. Well, Susie was winning the first three quarters of that round. Had she done enough in the opening 90 seconds? Susie Ramadan backs away to reset. Round six. Six rounds in the books. It's not slowing down at all here at the pavilion. So we have a look, both girls landing good shots in round number six, and there's the shots from Graf. That was the barrage in the last 30 seconds from Graf. Graf digs them downstairs. Second tower's big match, round seven. Schedule 10 rounds. Incredible test of endurance. In the red corner, Alicia Graff asked for the water bottle. The trainer didn't exactly understand, so she screamed and yelled at him. That's not good enough, Alicia Graff. That's your corner team. Respect them. Firing away the initial shots there, Graff Ramadan. Nice countering, turning as Graff. Oh, great barrage from both girls. Girls still lightning quick on their feet, despite the fact the legs feel like concrete about now. That unavoidable burning sensation that just stops you. Good combination from Susie Q. Graf's got to get back on that double jab, put Susie on the back foot, there it is, and punch off her. She's got a great jab, Alicia Graff. I love, I love her jab. Ramadan rocks. She's got the eye of the tiger, Alicia Graff. Very composed athlete. Is the 31-year-old originally from Belarus. Amateur career spanning 17 fights that began back in 2001, where she was voted best boxer of the tournament at the national titles in Germany. Oh, Graf slips it in. Oh, and here comes Susie Q. Great range of skills from both girls. The hand-eye of Alicia Graff is unbelievable. She sees a punch, slips it, and there it is. Oh, seven produced and as Graf backs away she gets caught there it is from Susie Q Graf comes straight back the 
hand-eye coordination I spoke about in the round. Slips, counters. Great combination from Alicia Graff. Amazing cardiovascular level for these two girls. Still look fresh-ish after all these rounds. And the pace is just as high. It's a lot higher actually than the first round. Both going to feel it tomorrow morning. No doubt. Graf back to camera at the moment. Ramadan in the white and blue. With some work to do. Look at the jab and good counter work from uh, Susie Q. Good attack from Graf to start with. An Australian and a Belarusian, but almost a Mexican standoff, briefly. <laughs> yeah. Ramadan wants to get out of there. She turns nicely and starts on Alicia Graff, who counters again brilliantly. Graff has just got a real fighter's instinct about her. She takes a big left hook from Susie Q. Second half of round number eight. No signs of slowing just yet. Oh, the left hook from Susie Q. That's what's working. Get Graff back on the back foot. Throw your punches in combinations. This is where Graff comes on. Susie Q's got to keep doing what she was doing. Don't try to save the round. Win the round. Good work from Susie Q. Graff, still stalking. Bell sounds back to that forehead. This time it's Susie Q Ramadan standing before the round starts, waiting impatiently. I was going to say much better work from Graf. Sat down, got her breath, listened to her corner, much more controlled, and that's what you need. You need to, to save all your energy. No use getting angry or upset in the corner. We all know you're the fighter, but you need to save that energy. Use it in the ring. Very sign on, isn't she, Alicia Graf? Limiting the target zone for Susie. She's got the basic skills of the Russian fighters, the European yeah. fighters. Good balance, good eye, as Ramadan has some sex success. Right on the right. Susie would love to be able to try and keep Alicia in that corner. On the restart, tries to push her way forward, but Graf responds with a combination that drives the Victorian back out the centre ring. There's been a shift for me, I see a change and Susie Q seems to be back on the front foot now. Girls have flown the flag of women's boxing, women's sport, proudly and high tonight. Oh. Oh, they oh. plant their feet, the girls. Plant their feet and start swinging. 
Good right hand from Radovan. Beautiful right hand. Good jab back from uh, Graf. 10 KOs in 25 fights. For Graf, 8 KOs in 22 fights for Ramadan. You can see Graf starting to really suck in the big ones now. Oh, crippler to the ribcage from Alicia Graf. One round to go. A little bit too low on Graf as uh, she started off with a great combination but finished well from, Su from Susie Ramadan. Little whisper going around the auditorium here that after eight rounds the three judges have it square. Wow. Well, I thought Susie Q got that last round. Yes, she does that put her in the lead. Final round coming your way for the vacant WBC International Bantamweight title, the world title eliminator. The winner of tonight gets a shot in the very near future with the full WBC strap. Look at both girls. Round number 10, they're still on their toes. Springing around the ring. Oh, the left hook from Graf. A nice one from Alicia. Susie wore it well as she has most of Alicia's big shots. Dr. Peter Lewis. Clash of heads. Clash of heads has been ruled. Oh, it's a beauty on Alicia Graf. With just over 60 seconds remaining. That should light the fuse. Not that you need any extra. Oh, that's a bad cut in a bad spot. Puts a jab hand into the nose of... Susie Ramadan. Oh, good footwork from Susie Q and great head movement from Alicia Graff as the heads come together once again. She is a real warrior, Alicia Graff. Has not phased her that cut one bit. And with 30 seconds to go, they have planted the feet and they are standing and trading. Alicia Graff and Susie Ramadan have put on an absolute classic. Haven't they? What? Be proud of yourselves, girls. It's a classic, like you said. Whoever the WBC champion, wherever the WBC champion, you get the feeling they could be in for a war. One not to miss, that's for sure. Oh, good right hand from Susie Ramadan. Amazing sports personship. And as one, the pavilion stands, applauds, and in lounge rooms across the street.
They are being checked, much like Santa's list. We are checking it twice. Just to make sure. Barry Michael said this is the uh, epic battle. Barry Michael, a former IBF yeah, world champion nice. himself, standing alongside Susie. As nervous as he was with gloves on himself here. And this is taking an awful long time. Calculators are out from the three judges. Normally a pretty good indication that it is as tight as tight can be. Yeah, you know, it's always close when the, uh, the, the judging calculations take a little longer than usual. The Ramadan corner seems quite confident. Nervous. What about the girls, Alicia and Susie? They're just saying, come on, get the numbers up, make it official. I can't bear this. This probably hurts more than anything they've done for the last 20 minutes. Yeah, there's uh, something's been said because Graf doesn't look happy about something, whether the decision's already been known, but uh, she's not happy about something. Whilst on the other side, the Ramadan corner looks quite happy. Still waiting for the score tables. Maybe they know something we don't. Susie's all smiles, isn't she? She is all smiles, along with Steve Stenborg. And the wait continues. No one in the ring is comfortable at the moment. As we have a look at Alicia Graff in the corner, yeah. the body language certainly changed and there's an indication her corner is absolutely blowing up at the moment. Does not look happy. Gave it a roll. Certainly did. I'd love to see a rematch. Someone is going to go home disappointed. Who will it be? I don't know what's going on here. Both girls seem to know what's happening. This might be a lot of count and Kevin Rudd and Julie Gillard on Monday. Someone's got to buy these officials a calculator. Because names. in fear of being a little nitpicky, this is bordering on the ridiculous. We know it's close. It would have been a draw. It was level pegging, one judge, one judge. And level finally, pegging, the numbers have been there. handed over. Susie Ramadan. Alicia Graff. Who have left it all in the ring. We have a split decision. Once again, a big round of applause for the two warriors taking women, women taking by boxing, by storm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Andrew Campbell had it 96-94, red corner graph. Judge Frank Hanley had it 96-94. Judge Samantha Bulner, 96-94. 95. Your winner by split points, Blue Corner, Susie Q. Ramadan. A split points winner, Susie Q. Ramadan, and the team, including family, celebrate. Alicia Graff, disappointed, walks back to the dressing rooms and it's a lonely old walk. The hardware on. The hardware on Susie Q and a world title shot awaits. That is our semi-main event, our main event still